Hello and welcome to another redstone tutorial on my channel and today I'm gonna show you how to build very simple 3 by 3 realistic multi-floor elevator Super simple every floor looks exactly the same as you can see the redstone is not too weak as for such a complex mechanism the only thing that's Relatively big is the elevator, but 3 by 3 elevators have some cost. And as you can see, the elevator always go one floor, never goes more. Always goes one floor, and depending on where you, which button you pick. You go either up or down. Okay, so, if there is that, so we, let's get to the tutorial. So, let's start by rounding your elevator with balances or obsidian or other block that doesn't move. Place two fragments like this, they are temporary. We're gonna remove them later, but for now, we need them so we don't actually accident with start the elevator. And place only in slime blades. Place pistols underneath. Right. Line like this. You can also use honey blocks instead of slime. Now let's make a section of the elevator that moves it up. Let's observe a to the piston. And two more slime blocks with an observer. This observer is on a... And the signal that the elevator is arriving. Oh, it would, it would be stopped. And things now, okay. Another temporary elements in here. Oh. Don't accident, accidentally start the elevator. Next, we have sending the elevator. First, sending down. To send it down, we simply do a one tick generator. Then, connect the red slow to this piston. You the way like this. And now, if we press this button, the elevator would be sent down if I would uh, remove this furnace else. We will see that in action later. Now, let's get on to the send up function. We need a and it's a bit more complicated than the same down function, but it's still super simple. Because we need to power this pistons before we power this this piston, we really ultimately start this elevator going up. Oh another one to generator. on wooling or other blocks to place repeaters every repeater should be set on one tick like this now place for another repeater full block and we will connect it here oh repeaters one 
Club del Sundust, Jupiter, and now just connect the red string. And we have our send up function. So the only thing we need now is the stopping mechanism. And first we're gonna make the mechanism that stops the elevator when it's it goes up. So it wants to go to the max height, the big limit. But that it would stop a bit earlier. But to do that, we make a redstone line that would go like this. And I think it should be one top lower, yes. A glass or a slab. And it looks like this. You see? Now Rescon can easily travel here with his pistols. Then add some torch so these pistons won't block elevator. And that's you know meet two and add some repeater set on critics, let's some dust. And a terracotta banners or something like that. And we also need to be able to stop this elevator from going down forever. And we do that by placing a replaced terracotta block here. Yeah, well, let's on task that we record. This way, some repeaters set on Portix, Not Gate, which is here at some torch, and a regular piston placed right here, where it is on top, and a stun dust here. Here, here, but because it powers also this piston which we don't want, don't want, we also need to place a target block in here, just like that, and now we have everything ready. After you have repeated everything except the elevator on other floors, we can put this machine into the test, remove the furnaces that temp the temporary furnaces that were blocking the elevator and start it. Let me make sure which one is for sending it out. It's this one. Was it the top floor I don't know this one so let's go down. Everything starts perfectly and now we'll, let's just see if it stops for me everything works you need to double check everything and thanks for watching see you soon in the next tutorial bye